உதயகுமார் சார் ஷெல்வி ஸ்டார் சார் எஸ் மேம் எஸ் மேம் ப்ரசிட் மேம் थैंक यू सर ओके ए वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू वन एंड ऑल गैदर्ड हियर वी एक्सटेंड अ वेरी वार्म वेलकम टू एवरीवन हियर फॉर द लास्ट डे ऑफ द इवेंट ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ एसआरएम इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फैकल्टी ऑफ साइंस एंड ह्यूमैनिटीज वी वेलकम यू ऑल to the one week online national fdp on teaching strategy a pedagogy organized by the department of computer science and applications now i invite dr e shrimadi ma'am assistant professor department of computer science and applications faculty of science and humanities to deliver the welcome address for the valedictory event please ma'am yes ma'am whether i am audible ma'am Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. A very warm welcome to all present here. I welcome our dean, Faculty of Science and Humanities, VP Academic, VP Admin and HOD of Computer Science and Application, Dr. Uma Shankari, ma'am, Program Coordinator of PCA. Uh, this is the last session uh, that uh, throughout the six days we are just going to uh, in the end up of the day. I just welcome everyone. I welcome Mr. you uday kumar assistant professor from the department of computer science and uh, dr agalya vt raj assistant professor from the english department for this today's session welcome sir and welcome ma'am i extend my warm welcome to the participants who have joined in this session once again i welcome welcome uh, thank you shrimadi ma'am thank you marani ma'am ma'am shall we start ma'am please wait sir okay thank you thank you ma'am I invite Mrs. P. M. Kavita, ma'am, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Applications, Faculty of Science and Humanities, to share a rapido of event. Please, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon, all gathered here. It gives me a great honor in delivering the rapido of one week virtual faculty development program. on the topic teaching strategies a pedagogy from 16th february 2024 to 22nd to 2024 we had around 488 registrations and 200 plus active participants in both zoom and youtube so day one started with inaugural followed by the sessions handled by mrs j shamla devi on the topic role play and mr n krishnamurthy handled activity based learning day 2 the sessions were handled by dr s jayachandran on the topic project based learning and dr n vijay lakshmi on the topic block creation day 3 dr r agastya handled multiple inheritance and dr s uma rani handled ict based learning day 4 was a flipped classroom handled by dr roshni mol and iqc on g form with certificate was handled by dr e streamathi Day five, the sessions were handled by Dr. Uma Shankari on the topic mind mapping, and Mrs. S. Sindhu handled constructive learning. All the sessions were very informative and useful. So today we are in day six. The sessions will be handled by Dr. Agalya, Assistant Professor, EFL Department, SRM IST, Ramapuram Campus. She will be handling the session on the topic gamification and and enhanced educational practices will be handled by. Dr. Uday Kumar, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, ma'am. So this is the moment I would like to invite our guest speaker, Mr. U Uday Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Applications, from BSc Department. Um, please uh, deliver your notes, sir. Okay, ma'am. uh thank you ma'am thank you shrimati ma'am umarani ma'am and pm kamita ma'am thank you sir thank you sir thank you ma'am ma'am is visible ma'am yes sir okay uh first of all let me thank to the department of computer science and applications uh, bca program who has invited me as a resource person in this uh, one week virtual fdp program on teaching strategies and pedagogy and uh, in today's session i'm going to discuss about an uh, enhancing educational practices harnessing ai tools for innovative teaching pedagogy 
so this topic why i am preferring for this topic in nowadays means ai tools uh, is one of the most impact for the current generation peoples nowadays uh, not only for ai tools for educators ai tools for industry persons and for the academicians and for the researchers most of the peoples nowadays they are using ai tools so using this ai tools uh, we can create some innovative teaching pedagogy and we have lots and lots of tools are available for uh, for creating an innovative teaching pedagogy and this entire session will be a practical demonstration in the first part of the session uh, we are going to discuss about uh, what are all the innovative teaching pedagogies are available in ai and what is the impact uh, this kind of things we have in the basic section and for the practical demonstration we are going to demonstrate two important tools for creating a innovative teaching pedagogy and the content of today presentation is about and the first four topic is the first topic is about an importance of innovative teaching and the second topic is about how ai is using teaching pedagogy and third process is nothing but ai tools in teaching pedagogy and the last session is about a practical demonstration session on ai tools in teaching pedagogy this is the overall content of my session okay let me start the basic session of what is the importance of teaching pedagogy okay so uh, nowadays nowadays uh, pedagogy plays a major role for uh, academics in especially for this kind of this kind of generation students okay. using this innovative teaching method uh, we can able to improve the problem solving skills and creative skills for the students and uh, it helps the students to create to advance advance the networks over the critical thinking options and they can able to adapt their problem solving and communication skills and the creativity skills so this is the main impact of this uh, innovative teaching strategy so even though we have different kinds of teaching pedagogy methods and we have some set of strategies for creating an innovative teaching so we have four uh, important strategies are available the first part is nothing but it is a personalized learning and second is nothing but it is an active learning and third experimental learning and fourth is a collaborative learning the first part personalized learning so the personalized learning is nothing but according the according to the definition what when and how so if you are a professor or from school teacher if you are going to teach a topic teach about, about a particular topic to each and every student i'm pointing about each and every each student each and every student it is all about your personalized learning if you are focusing only for each and only for the candidate we can adapt this adapt this type of strategy is called personalized learning and the second one is active learning active learning is nothing but if you have a 50 number of students are available here if you want to uh, place one student in the middle of the middle of your class and if you want to interact with the students by engaging the students with the help of learning process this is all about your active learning process and the next one is your experimental learning and this is one of the most important innovative teaching strategies so why i am focusing on most important in this time nowadays they are using real time examples and real time projects for demonstrating all those stuffs in computer science especially if you are working on java if you are taking class in java programming or else in advanced java or else in web programming or else you are from uh, management department or you are from commerce department okay if you are taking an accounting accounting and finance concept let me take an example of accounting you are going to implement your things in tally erp and sap tools or if you are from management people you are going to deploy some set of projects in your business analytics tools in terms of tableau and uh, power bi tools so if you want to attract your students with the help of this experimental learning with real time examples and real time projects this is all about an experimental learning strategy and most of the peoples nowadays they are using experimental learning strategies to adapt the students to learn new things in the current industry and the next one is nothing but it is a collaborative learning see collaborative learning is nothing but if you if you want to form a group of students it is nothing but it's a teamwork and it is mainly focused on teamwork if you want to form a group and if you want to form a group and uh, you can just make just make sure students to more creative and interactive session about a particular topic you can use a collaborative learning and these are all the four important strategies of uh, innovative teaching strategies it helps the students to develop their problem solving skills and the creativity skills this is all about an importance of uh, innovative teaching and the next part is nothing but how this ai is used in teaching pedagogy okay so this ai generally is working on uh, natural language processing and some other ml algorithm how this ai is using teaching pedagogy with the help of is four important methods the first method is role playing 
and second is an affecti affection computing affection computing and third is nothing but gamification and fourth is nothing but immersive learning so how these four strategies four important strategies are used in ai let me can explain in one by one concept first we have four deviations here one is your ai technique pedag uh, pedagogical te design and domain knowledge and human factor okay first we can play with the role playing option so what is this role playing so role playing is nothing but if you want to teach your if you want to taking a class taking a class to your students if you are going to take in new skills and you are going to grab some new technology if you want to deliver this content to your students these kind of tech these kind of uh, stuffs we can call it as role playing method and this role playing method is comes under in your pedagogical design okay and uh, not only for uh, if you want to develop a new skills if you are creating a new set of uh, concepts in your uh, lesson plan or as your syllabus or if you want to add some new programming or new programming uh, concepts or new programming design if you want to demonstrate over your classes or in your network you can call it as role playing ai and this role playing ai is comes under in your pedagogical design okay and the next one is nothing but affective computing so this affective computing is nothing but it is uh, graph from the learning experience if you want to uh, learn some new technologies from previous experience or past experience and if you want to personalize all those things and make your students more engaging on the concept you can call it as affective computing and this affective computing is combination of both your ai technique and your human factor okay and the th next part is your gamification so gamification is nothing but if you want to interact your class based on game like elements and if you want to do some fun activities or fun activities to do, do more things and more things about your stuffs to engage your students about the process you can call it as gamification concept and this gamification is comes under in your pedagogical design okay and the last one is your immersive learning and this immersive learning nowadays most of the company people or most of the corporate companies they are going to train the people with the help of this immersive learning techniques nowadays we are using a virtual reality augmented reality uh using this kind of uh, reality experience we can able to implement this concept in your pedagogical design to do lot of things about your lot of practical things for demonstration everything will be happened in your class let me take an example of an elcot it service private limited and this elcot it was incorporated from tamil nadu government sector and this elcot corporation they have de they developed a new application called uh, vr and ar reality so using this reality technique we can able to see complete network of your elcot network and we can able to adapt the technologies this kind of uh, main important things are happened in your immersive learning technique this immersive learning is combination of both ai technique domain knowledge and your human factor this is all about your teaching pedagogy is plays a major role while while choosing your teaching pedagogy concept you should be be focus on your ai what type of ai technique we are using and what type of pedagogical design we are using and how the human factor is incorporated with your ai technique and the pedagogical design and we should know the domain knowledge since we are going to teach these kind of stuffs to the students we should grab some domain knowledge on the concept this is all about your artificial intelligence is used in teaching pedagogy concept and the next one is uh, what are all the ai tools we are using in teaching pedagogy i am just listing only five concepts here we have uh, around 15 to 15 tools top tools are available for teaching pedagogy and uh, in this session we are going to demonstrate only on two or three tools based on the time consumption so the first ai tool something but it is a prep ai so prep ai is something but if you want to uh, develop some multi choice questions or else if you want to develop some uh, fill in the blanks so the fill in the blanks or else some other long answer question if you want to develop a question based on the topic this ai will assist you that to create these kind of questions with the help of prep ai and this prep ai is not a free version so initially we can able to use around one month as a trial version okay using this one month we can able to use we can able to download some multi choice question concept or else long answer question concept from the from the specified topic if you are uh, focusing on management okay business management concept from the business management we can generate multi choice question long answer question with the help of this ai assistant tools okay and one more uh, one more important uh, advantages of prep ai tools we can able to incorporate bloom's taxonomy in this prep ai concept okay this prep ai is adopted to your bloom's taxonomy level using this bloom's taxonomy level we can able to generate this question with the help of this tool and the next one is your education copilot and this education copilot is 
nothing but it is a repository like this you can able to generate powerpoints and we can generate some quiz builder all stuffs are available in this education copilot and uh, this tool is one of the most important tool for the academician for creating a innovative teaching pedagogy concept and the next one is your formative ai and this formative ai is one of the best ai tool using this formative ai tool if you are uh, if you're delivering if you're giving your notes to your students okay or if you're demonstrating a presentation or a pdf to your demo through a pdf or ppt concept you're going to ask some mc mcq question or some other uh, long answer question based on the ppt using this formative ai you can able to use using this formative ai you can able to grab some question from the video also video effect you can able to get some information in this formative ai and the next one is great scope and great scope is nothing but it is similar to your google classroom okay we can upload something you can upload your materials all those things in great scope we can able to generate scores and we can able to automation everything will be available in great scope and the next one is query pod is also a quiz generator application and this top five tools it it is more useful for creating your innovative teaching pedagogy okay you can see and one by one in practical demonstration the practical demonstration of uh, ai tools in teaching pedagogy the first demonstration is nothing but education copilot okay and this is the link of your education copilot so the education copilot.com let me walk through the link just a minute So, so in my browser, I'm going to type it as Education Copilot, okay. and this is the official link of your Education Copilot. It will point it out only on AI Lesson Planner. It is not only used for AI Lesson Planner. It is a repository like this. We can create a quiz builder, PowerPoint presentation. Everything will be available in this Education Copilot. So once I walk through this link, Education Copilot. so we should log in with our google account or else if you want to uh, if you want to create a new account you can able to create so i just want to log in with my account since i have already logged in my account with my gmail account if you are a new user you can able to use your google account or else if you want to create a new account you can able to create so i already uh, create an create an account in copilot so this is your dashboard of your education copilot and this dashboard it may contain your unit planner workshop and history so history in denotes of uh, what are the stuffs you are created in education copilot okay let me move on to workshop because this in this workshop we have lot of tools are available in this education copilot okay so if you want to create a quiz using this education copilot we can able to create if you want to generate a powerpoint you can able to generate but initially it will generate only 15 slides once you click on powerpoint generator okay it will ask a specific topic on what topic it uh, your powerpoint should be like this i am going to use my introduction to operators in java or else i am going to use uh, introduction to java programming okay and if you are pointing about a specific topic and what this powerpoint should cover it, it covers about an introduction okay once you click introduction or else basic concepts just click generate powerpoint this ai will generate a powerpoint it may it may take some time to generate since it is an ai tool so based on the response from the server so it will capture the topic as introduction to java programming and my powerpoint should cover in terms of basic concept it, it covers only the basic concept of uh, java programming so once you click this generate powerpoint this ai will generate a powerpoint it may takes around uh, it will generate 15 slides based on the topic okay since it is a copilot okay, just a minute it will take some time to load once the generation is completed you can it will automatically download so we can able to launch the presentation okay <clears throat> it may take some time to load uh, based on the ai response okay this is all about a one topic of uh, one console of your powerpoint generator 
even though we can create quiz builders or recipe generator or if you want to send an email or write an email using this copilot we can generate all those things okay so it takes some time to load some time to download the presentation so we can move on to some other concept okay and in workshop see there is another option called a context builder okay context builder ai freestyle so a lot of things are available here let me take an example of ai freestyle so using this ai freestyle okay if you want to explore some topic for example if you want to know about something of, uh, i'm going to use about what is introduction to artificial intelligence Just click generate option based on the text from your AI freestyle. It will automatically generate the content from the copilot. It will be displayed on the right side of the pan. So since this copilot, it was used by the many people. So using this many corporate people, they are using this copilot to draft an email or to draft an email to manager or CEOs. All those things are available in this education copilot. So using this copilot, we can generate uh, we can send some prompts to the user, or if you want to send an email to the parent, all those things are available in this copilot itself. So it may take some time because this is. The entire content will be displayed in the right side of the pan. This is all about your AI freestyle. Okay. <clears throat> the next one is nothing but uh, if you want to write some project generator, or if you want to write some, uh, know about some specific topic. So the, the example of civil war and free Let me take an example about of, uh, okay, APJ Abdul Kalam. We need to write some essay based on that. Since at what grade, I'm going to give my 10th grade. Once you click generate, this AI will create the entire stuffs, entire stuffs based on the topic of about APJ Abdul Kalam about grade, grade 10 candidates, okay? And this will take some repository from ChatGPT and Gemini AI. All those steps are from some other AI tools. This education copilot, it will automatically connect it with your ChatGPT and the Gemini AI tool. So it will generate some, con some content from the AI, AI tools. And this is also a restriction here. Since it's a free version, maximum of 360, you can, I, as of now, I'm using 15 uh, contents based on the topic, okay? So this is all about an education copilot. Using this copilot repository, we can create a lot of things, a lot of new things we can able to create with the help of this AI. Okay, and let's let me show some set of an example of an industry concept. See, uh, as I created this PowerPoint presentation, see this PowerPoint presentation. We take. Uh, See, I have already created some PowerPoint presentation using this education co-pilot. I have created human resource management, machine learning, marketing. So these kind of presentations I have already created in previous I have created uh, using this AI tool. You can create all those things here. Okay, let me share that presentation screen. One minute. See, this is the presentation screen. This presentation is created using this uh, education copilot. See, about uh, it will generate 15 slides. So, about reduction to DBMS, about SQL, SQL syntax, data types. So, everything it was, this entire PPT, it was developed using this education copilot. Okay. And this is one of the one AI tool. And the next AI tool, okay. and the next AI tool uh, we are going to discuss about uh, formative AI. I have added all the screenshots uh, in this presentation. See, this is all about what is the dashboard of the screen and what the workshop, in the workshop, what are all the important AI things that are available. So as I explained previous about, previous about what is the PowerPoint generator, AI freestyles, these kind of things are available in the copilot option. And the next one is your formative AI. And uh, this formative AI is AI powered generative AI tool. Okay, So using this AI tool, we can create your uh, quiz builder or multi-choice question based on your content, based on your content. It is not from other content. If you have a PDF content from the PDF content, if you want to generate some MCQ type question using this formative AI tool, you can able to build like this. And this is the official link of formative AI. 
So formatty.com slash AE power. So let me share the screen. So just go to Google and just type formatty AI. And this is the official link of your formatty AI. Formatty questions hints powered by chat GPT. Okay. Okay, once you walk through this link, uh, since I have already logged in my account, okay, so if you are not logged in your account, there is the option called login button. Once you log in the account, just move on, move on to the dashboard section. And this is your uh, dashboard section of your formative AI tool. Okay, so since I have already created one content, let me remove the content and create once again. Okay. And this is your dashboard of your formative AI concept. Okay, in this dashboard, we have formatives, classes, reports, libraries, and what all the practice are available. And this is my account. Okay, since you are going to do some settings on your account, this is my account you can able to create. If you want to create a new assessment, see, this is the main important things in formative AI. You can able to enhance some type of questions in PDF or docs, or else from Google Docs, Google Slides, or from Google V, or else some other videos. And these are all the recent formative contents are available here. If you want to create a new formative AI, just go and click new formative. So once you click new formative, and this is your screen of your new formative tool. So if you want to frame your new topic, yes, I'm going to take topic as Java server pages. Okay. If you want to add some instruction, you can able to add some instruction here. Okay. And next one, this is the main important thing. Okay, using this AI tool, if you want to add some images or text, all those things are available here. Okay, I'm going to add some. If you have a presentation or PDF, what type of things you need? We need to generate from AI, or else we need to create from some other stuff. Let me want to create uh, from my scratch itself. If, if your content in document or embed or image, all those things are available. This is the content and this is the question type. Okay, there is a drawing or drawing question type is available, free responses, multiple choices, multiple section, and there is an advanced section. Uh, if your answer from audio, res audio response, we can able to create, or else from file response, we can able to build, attach. If you want to attach some response based on the uh, file content, using this file response, you can able to use uh, your generative AI content. I'm going to click my document section. Okay, once you click the document section, you can able to pick your document from Google Drive or if you want to take an image or a draw an image. I'm going to upload my PDF. Just click this uh, drag and drop pictures document. Okay, it will open your open dialog box. Uh, since I have my document in my desktop screen. Okay, once you upload the document, uh, the entire section of the entire uh, content of your PDF document will be embedded in your formative AI section. So it may take uh, two or three minutes. <clears throat> See, uh, it will list number of pages uh, in the PDF documents, page one. Since this document contains 14 pages, if you want to remove some set of pages, you can remove, or else if you want to add all 14 images, you can able to add all these 14 images, okay? so. This will automatically import your content in your uh, formative AI tool. This is the main important thing. Uh, this screen, it was shared by the students. If, if you are a professor, okay, this screen, uh, it was while you're sharing the screen to your student, uh, this entire screen will be shared to the students. If you want to generate some question based on the PDF, from the PDF content, on the bottom of the side, there is an option called, see, there is an option called multiple choice. Okay. Or else, uh, if you want to create some short answer, you can create. I'm going to create my multiple choice. Okay. Once you click on multiple choice, and you should type your question here. Okay. So my question is, uh, okay. Abbreviation of JSP. Okay. So your answer. I'm going to create as Java servlet page. And if you want to add more, more, uh, more answer choice, click add an answer choice and Java server page. Okay. 
and scientific page and last one is java source page and this if this second option is correct answer this highlight this option and if you want to generate some points you can able to generate some points i'm going to give five points for this multi choice question so once you've done this question and this is the main important thing this formative way you can able to add uh, from if you're going to give some choice more explanation choice based explanation so you can able to explain each and every choice see for example uh, if you want to explain based on the number of explanation from the choice option, you can able to demonstrate, for example, Java scientific page. If you want to demonstrate some content on this response, you can able to demonstrate or else your answer should be in randomized order. If you want to create some randomized order, you can able to create and your work, what is your work you want to display here? Whether you want to display from rubric or not, all those things are available and this is the required option. So if you want to use some mandatory things, use this uh, required option. And if you want to add more question, click this multiple choice again. Okay. And it will add one more question. So using this formative AI, we can create, we can enhance, uh, we can enhance our question from the PDF document. So once you generate all the question, just make sure that you should assign the question. Okay. Assign the question to your class. So once you click assign button, see, and this is the uh, online link of this online link. I'm going to copy this link. Whether you need a QR code, you can able to QR option. If you're using a smart board, using this QR code, if the student is using mobile phone, they can, they can capture the QR code. They can attend all the MCQ right now. Yeah. Let me copy this link. I'm going to use in my incognito mode. Okay. So this is the student link. Uh, using this link, the student, they can able to attend their multiple choice questions. See this? They have to enter the first name and last name. So my first... I'm going to explain as uh, Tamish and once they click join button, they can able to view the question. Okay. See? The students, they can learn from the concept. They can learn, they can uh, go through all the PDF documents here. Okay. Once they go through all the PDF documents on the bottom of the screen, there is the option called on the bottom of the screen, there is the option. See this? There is a question here. So once the student is responded, okay, once the student is responded, there is a submit button on the bottom of the screen. That's it. And since I have not created my second question, okay, are you sure you want to submit? Once you click submit button, your response is auto-generated. Okay, and this response, it is, it will automatically um, collaborated with your professor account. See, just go and check the responses here. Okay. Once you click responses, see Kamesh Gajendran and he has an 100%. This is all about you can able to interact with your students using this formative AI. You can not only uh, you can able to generate some question from MCQ type from PDF documents. If you have your uh, 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 your own self mode self made videos from the self made videos, if you want to some generate some question. Using this formative AI tool, you can generate all those things, all those things with the help of uh, for creating a really innovative teaching pedagogy course. Okay. And the last tool is nothing but it is your prep AI. And since this AI tool, okay, and it is not a free version. And this is most advanced test generated tool. Why I'm going to use this test generated tools using this Bloom's taxonomy level. If you want to create an MCQ based on Bloom's taxonomy, you can able to create. Okay. And this is the official link of your uh, prep, uh, prep AI tool, prepa.io. Once you click get started and login button, okay, and it will open your dashboard of your screen. See, and as I said before, since it is not a free account, okay, in standard account, we can create some MCQ based on the topic. So if you are specific, I, my topic is about make money in stock market. Uh, this is my content. What type of content the MCQ will be generated? I'm going to generate a content and the question type. Whether the question it may be in ECB or medium, EC or medium or hard level. What type of level you should need? Whether you need true or false question, descriptive type question, fill up. So all these are all the question types are available here. Okay. And the next one, 
on the top section there is a one more option called <clears throat> see there is another option called hots this hots option okay once you give a title of your question paper and we can generate question based on your bloom's taxonomy see the taxonomy level rem remember understand apply analyze evaluate and create we can create your question based on the bloom section okay so since i have created already one questions here and if you want to generate questions from video we can able to create since it is not a free version so we have to pay some set of amounts to prepare to generate the questions okay once you click on my question paper these are all the question which is already created see this i have already created uh, money money uh, make money in stock market okay once you download this uh, let me show this whether this question paper should be in pdf document or xls or docs for free version you can able download the pdf document okay so once you download the document let me open the document and uh, this is the mcq and it is created using uh, see the entire content it was created using prep ai okay so you can able to take a print out or you can able to share the question paper to the students for multiple choice question creation and uh, so these are all the today's my session is about an ai tools how to create an ai tools to create an uh, innovative teaching pedagogy concept let me share one more screen So and we have one uh, these two tools uh, we have covered copilot and prep ai and formative ai tool and this tool you can just go and uh, search in google this two important tools this great scope and query pod these are all the these are all also an important tool for creating a innovative innovative teaching pedagogy concept so this is all about uh, about today's session uh, if you have any queries uh, regarding you can ask right now If you have any queries uh, regarding the session, you can ask me, right. or else you can post your question in chat box. Uh, Kavita, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, Ma'am, uh, I done my presentation. If there is any queries regarding uh, from the participants, uh, we can ask right now. Otherwise, uh, we can move on to the next session. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ratanaju, sir. Thank you. Any other query? Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so, uh, one, ma'am. There is one query from the audience: whether course mapping is possible, sir. Uh, sir, using this education copilot, uh, we can do the we can do the course mapping section. Um, in this in this website called app dot education copilot website. There is an option called uh, lesson planner option. Using the lesson planner, we can able to use the course mapping. With the help of AI, yes, it is possible in education profiling. Yes, ma'am, I done my part. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your informative session. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, now I would like to invite uh, Doctor uh, Akalya, Assistant Professor, Department of EFL, Faculty of Science and Humanities, SRM IST Ramabram. Please, ma'am. Akalya, ma'am. Akalya, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, I think uh, she's joining, ma'am. One minute, ma'am. She's joining. Okay, sir.
Um, I, uh, she need co-host permission, ma'am. I think so. I can't able to unmute the audio. She need a co-host. Okay, okay, sir. I request you to all please uh, switch on your uh, video for the photo session. Participants, professors, kindly switch on your video. So mine also not working. Thank you so much uh, for your information. Uh, ma'am, Akalya, ma'am, I, I would like to invite uh, for the today's session. Please, ma'am, please proceed, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much for the opportunity given to me. And I would like to thank all the professors and our management for this opportunity. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so today my topic is on a teaching strategies, a pedagogy. So welcome everyone today. We embark on an exciting and adventure into the world of gamification in education. So my topic is gamification in education. So let's imagine our classroom is like buzzing with an engaging students eager to unlock the new levels. Earn, they can earn rewards. They can conquer challenges. So I would like to say that gamification is, isn't just about making learning fun. It's all about empowering students. So to empower students, we need their active participation in their education. No? So one such tool here is education uh, through gamification method. So gamification education is nothing but like a transforming our learning in a very playful uh, adventure level. So gamification is the integration of game elements in the educational society. It can also make learning more engaging and interactive. So the main component of this is engaging as well as interactive by incorporating the game mechanics. So here, also, here in gamification, mechanics is very important. So here, what are the mechanics we are going to deal with? points, levels, and rewards. So students are even more uh, motivated and they will be participating much in that so that they can level up uh, studying, you know, it will be more live and interactive here. 
next i would like to say about uh, pedagogy as i am from background of literature i would like to say that uh, it has to be pronounced in the way as pedagogy pedagogy so it's like pedagogy we are using you know, it's like a beyond the methods uh, the holistic vision about uh, the uh, learning process so pedagogy is more than like just teaching method it's in like kind of uh, we are incorporating our own ideas in a way which we could do with the help of the students obviously our students help is much more needed so at the at, at the outset it is like a holistic approach to the education so that is pedagogy uh, peda means child and gogi means art and science of teaching so here this the word no was coined by a person named nick peely so who is he is like a, he is a game designer who had been tasked with developing he was been developing the interface for the atm machine um, vending machine and all so by that way he has coined the word gamification so before getting into know about uh, the pedagogy gamification in education at the outset we should need to know about who did this who coined those words. that's why so what is the flow of the gamification work is first we need to understand our target audience they are our major goal so who they are then uh, what then next stage is like uh, what is the outcome for this so we'll be knowing about the learning outcome the structure of the experience then we will be identifying the source which we are going to use for this gamification purpose then we have to apply the method so what are the things we are going to do applying is very important than just identifying that next uh, always we will be confused with uh, gamification method versus game based learning also with traditional learning so in the traditional learning we will be having the structured and consistent will be there in the traditional learning whereas in gamification where we will be highly engaged with the students and we will be motivating them and in the traditional learning will be uh, focusing on their core skill so core skill as a motto here in gamification it's a personalized learning so according to rules and fancies we can add the elements to this uh, in traditional learning it adds the experienced educators whereas in gamification active participation or uh, problem solving skills uh, who the audience is based on that it will be done uh next so i told no there is always a confusion between game based learning and gamification so in game based learning we will be using games <clears throat> whereas in gamification we will be applying the elements to the uh, game will be adding the elements to the game <clears throat> in game based learning it's it uh, it based on the players who they are also in gamification the same uh, games will be playing but we will be applying the mechanics i told you earlier no so the mechanics here will be like badges rewards achievements and also all those things will be involved here and the game based learning which stimulates the students to experience the learning whereas same in the gamification it provides a choice of the path we have varied path so it's our choice to whether to do this or not to do this uh next uh, gamification in education so imagine a classroom where students can earn points for completing their task they level up as they master their concepts after knowing the concepts only will be having this task and level so where they'll be collaborating with the quest to solve the problem so they will be having the quest that i should finish this like that it will be there so that's the magic of gamification in education it's not just turning the learning into a game it's not just about uh, like you know game and all but rather using this game like elements to the learn and more engaging it makes us more engaging interactive and which is rewarding as well so it's like beyond textbooks and lectures so that's very important thing it's not just with the help of the textbooks and the lectures it's it's beyond that next uh, so in where do we find all these gamification so in the field of everything so let's take up health marketing politics training in education so now gamification is like plays a very important role or a pivotal role everywhere Uh, the statistics says that this gamification. No, people around age group of thirty-five they are utilizing this gamification methods abundantly, and also they play like hearts together. So who is getting benefited? No, the CEOs like as we are uh, utilizing it for hearts together. CEOs are getting benefited through the money wise as well. So that is what statistics says. So what is gamification method of teaching? So this gamification of learning is it's an educational approach. So which seeks to motivate students by using uh, video games. Let it be video games. So designing that and the game elements in the learning environment. So whatever our environment is, we are trying to change that to that level, and we are trying to. 
accomplish that so the goal is that to maximize our enjoyment as well as engaging and we are like captivating the students no interest of learning or uh, we will be captivating with the using this uh, gamification method and also they will be inspired to learn things so here uh, visual treat it's like a visual treat which uh, which engages and which also acquires will try to will send to acquire knowledge from this so next here uh, the major thing what is the role of the teacher here in this gamification in education the major role of our teachers they are all multifaceted like crucial so the, they are, they are playing a very crucial role they will be the designers they will be the facilitators they will be the guides so they are ensuring that each and every part of the gaming element is integrated or they are all uh, using that or not so that's what the role of the teacher is so if we use those things what is the outcome is like we will be learning in a maximized part so also it gives a positive impact when compared to the other pedagogical level uh, next <clears throat> what are the benefits we have through this gamification is it will be a uh, students level so using uh, usage of the students level will be increased and they'll be using it in a lot way and the high levels of engagement will be there they arrange you no know, they can choose their path they whether which path they do want it they, they can do with that and then efficient attainment of learning objectives will be done and also it also gives an add on like the fun elements will be so that is what we have in the benefits of gamification in education uh, so let's level up your education so how we are going to level up our education so usually what way what mode we are having is Uh, traditional classroom so traditional classroom can also sometimes feels you no know, monotonous and kind of uninspiring to us but gamification here injects a much needed dose of fun and excitement to the learning process so whatever the process of learning we do have it will inject kind of uh, fun elements to them so students become more actively involved in their education they will be eager to unlock new levels new sets so next badge i have to collect it so even in the kindergarten level if you get a star from our teacher will be super excited you know the same way it's like so we'll be collecting badges from them and we'll be collaborating with the conquest so next next what will come like that so this increase the engagement to the better understanding will be there a uh, stronger memory retention will be there so genuine level could see that the genuine love for their education their learning process this will be like beyond the classroom walls it's not when we come to the traditional level this is like beyond the classroom so imagine students cheering each day each other with like a climbing the leader board so who will be first who will be first so if we tend to give something like that they'll be more uh, eager and they'll be excited so they'll be facing the lighting up in the solving problems together The, these are the challenges we could see so the curiosity you no know, it will be embarking in them so we can unlock new new knowledge when people everyone together sitting together and they are discussing you no know, we can able to unlock so much of knowledge over there so gamification definitely truly empower students to become an active participant in their own educational journey so each and everyone will be having their own own journey so this will help us to find our path and it will surely make us engaging as well so next is uh, types of gamification in education uh, what are the things we'll be having in this part is so it's not just a one size fits all approach it's not so so different game elements can cater to differ or different or diverse learning styles and preferences so point system here which uh, rewards progresses and badges will celebrate the achievements leadership spark uh, over the competition they'll be giving a challenges make them students engaging in the task so virtual worlds create an immense of experience so when we are doing this uh, kind of education through gamification so the key is to choose the element that best align with our learning objective and the students need. so as i said uh, very important thing is according to our audience level we have to choose which we have to follow which we have to choose so there are so many things um, there are so much of pedagogy said that now the current trend or current set is like gamification uh, next uh, why gamification in e learning process so it is increasingly popular in our e learning due to its potential to address several challenges and enhance that overall learning experience so it's overallly enhances our experience of learning so there are few key factors which are there uh, uh, what are those means uh, will be uh, 
increased in engagement level uh, motivation will be there involvement level will be there it will improve our knowledge and it will it will helps us to retain it so nowadays retaining the knowledge over certain things is very important so through this gamification through this visual treat we could able to retain the knowledge which we have understood and uh, next which will enhance our personalized learning so personalized learning will be uh, it's possible only through gamification method so additional benefit is like collaboration so we can collaborate with the other person or other student so they will get more knowledge about so there will be sharing of knowledge will be there in this e learning process so structure about this gamification uh, so it's based on three levels one is personal mechanical and emotional level so according to the needs of that uh, need of us or at the <clears throat> audience we could decide on what level we could do so personalized means uh, according to our things which we have we can do that so mechanically with the objects we have with the apps we have emotional connect is emotionally we are connecting the students so if i say so this one this will be op, op solution for that students so on these basis we can uh, we can design our gamification method so these are the few examples real time examples of gamification we could do produce quizzes cohort is an app next this quest for knowledge so this quest so again and again this quest no we have to attain that level so attaining that level to reach that level the quest so the world of gamified learning is all we all know that it's vast and ever evolving it's always evolving with numerous ideas no we do have numerous platforms and uh, tools to cater the different subjects uh, different age groups let it be different styles different learning patterns we do have so let's explore few of the uh, platforms like uh, duolingo for which is used for uh, language learning next is minecraft education uh, this edition for stem next is cohort it uh, cohort not it's cohort for interactive quizzes next uh, if you want to create some quiz kind of thing so it has to be interactive means you can go with cohort next is class dojo for classroom management so for managing the classroom you can use this class dojo so kim could for a treasure and no this playful style so treasure and style of learning so by these things uh, these are the few platforms which will definitely spark the students curiosity and it will definitely ignites their a uh, passion for learning towards education uh, these are few images with the help of that app so like this no it's very colorful and students will be more involved and also we could see some logos picture no so reward points so there will be so much of level will be that we have to attain next next level next comes with the best practices for gamifying in education so here we can understand so gamification is a tool it's not just a magic solution no to use it effectively we should follow these uh, best practices which clearly defines our learning goals and ensure the game elements directly which supports the learning process so foster and it will be fair and uh, inclusive environment where all the students can feel the comfortable participating so according to their level if we design in that way they'll be actively participating as well as they'll be comfortable in participating and they'll be sharing their knowledge as well so it also offers timely feedback so in this process major uh, it's a vital thing which i could say in this gamification process if you get to know about the feedback immediately it's not that you will be getting after some time it's not it's immediately we could able to know about the feedback so whether it supports them or not we could able to understand so it clearly define learning objectives it align game elements with objectives which ensure fair and inclusive gameplay as well as it provides timely feedback and support a balanced competition with the collaboration which focuses on intrinsic motivation so minute detailing of the student we can able to know and we can motivate them in that way uh, so it will be evolving in the effectiveness and we can adapt with that so future directions what you could say this now ai has driven us in so many different worlds so under ai we have augmented reality virtual reality so definitely this is going to be the booming thing so uh, it will take us to the next level so gamification will be beyond the classroom with the help of these tools where uh, we can develop professionally which we can do with corporate with give can give the corporate training as well lifelong learning process will be given so this method will definitely make us or move us or shift us to the next level
so the conclusion part uh, we are all artists of, of course we should say so so the pedagogy is our paint brush so we should not hesitate to experiment that so tailor it we have to tailor it we have to continuously refine our teaching skill or strategies to create a masterpiece of learning uh, for our students so remember that our journey is like you no know, a lifelong learning process so by incorporating all these elements in our uh, teaching styles or teaching pedagogy sorry pedagogy we should uh, take our students to the next level uh, thank you Uh, if you have any doubts, thank you, ma'am. Ask me, uh, ma'am. Ah, uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Participants. Ma Hello. Akalya, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Dear professors, uh, if you have any query. Ma'am. Ma'am, uh, I'm here, ma'am. Kalia, ma'am. I hope you all have got an idea about what is all about gamification and all. So we can incorporate different, different elements. I told you, you no, know, I'm from the background of literature. What I used to do is I'll make students to watch a movie and I'll ask them to do a review on that. After giving the review, what I'll do to them is like I'll, I'll ask them to change the uh, climax scene. I'll ask them to uh, add some more elements to that. I'll make them to do that project in a paperwork. It's so like they'll, I'll be giving them an A4 size only. So in that, they have to make all the ideas what they have, have. in that way, they will be doing that. So, uh, so each and every time, it's depending upon the student's attention and the classroom, it differs. Thank you, Akalya, ma'am. I would like to invite uh, uh, Dr. S. Uma Mageshwari, Program Coordinator. Sorry, Uma Shankari, Program Coordinator, Department of Computer Science and Applications, Faculty of Science and Humanities, SRMIST Ramabram. Please, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma Am I audible, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Uh, at the outset, I would like to thank the entire team of organizers for their meticulous planning and organizing this one week FTP on teaching uh, pedagogy, teaching strategies at pedagogy. Uh, I'm very confident that this one week FTP uh, would be a great eye opener for all the teaching fraternity or the, all the entire participants who have been attending this one week FTP program. Uh, organizing, I mean, selecting this kind of uh, topic, uh, it is uh, it is very appreciable. I thank the organizer. Uh, I thank the management and the dean sir and the head, head of the Department of Computer Science and Applications for giving us this opportunity to host such kind of uh, event, which is very much required in this uh, present scenario. Uh, thank you once again.
over to uma ma'am thank you ma'am thank you so much ma'am um uh, participant anyone uh, please give your feedback about our sessions participant manvit that you can talk sir so good afternoon all of you can good afternoon sir i'm ratnaraju from pace in stop technology and sciences ongol andhra pradesh yeah the session is very interesting ma'am teaching strategies a pedagogy uh, all these six days uh, we have uh, actively participated in this and really it is very informative and uh, ready to use all these strategies for instructing the students really we are thankful to you on behalf of all the uh, teaching fraternity i extended my thanks to you all the team of uh, srm inst of sciences and technology ramapuram batch thank you so much thank you sir hello ma'am ha uh, tell me ma'am yeah i am dr kemlita from shri ramakrishna college of arts and science uh, really uh, sometimes we are we, we sometimes we were uh, uh, engaging with some other thing anyway we unable to miss the each and every session of this ftp really it was very interesting we also learned lot of ict tools and many things we have learned through this ftp ma'am uh, really our heartfelt thanks to the organizers ma'am thank you so much ma'am thank you ma'am thank you for your uh, uh, comments ma'am thank you so much hello ma'am i'm dr k g s ma'am ma'am i'm dr k g s ma'am from sun college of engineering and technology uh, really it's a very good and very informative session ma'am i got new idea about uh, recent techniques for pedagogy for improving our pedagogy skill really very useful and informative ma'am thank you so much ma'am thank you ma'am thank you so much ma'am madam good afternoon madam this is uh, dr barani dharin uh, from the new college working as an Sir. assistant professor uh, actually for the last six days uh, it's all the sessions are very interesting uh, we learned a lot from the flipped classrooms uh, and uh, like a tactile learning uh, and problem based learning thing based learning uh, no uh, cooperative learning all the things uh, we know uh, we can uh, incorporate all these things in the you no know, class we are conducting so and it's a need of the hour, i hope madam so my sincere thanks to the you no know, uh, organizers and to the srm uh, university for taking this uh, you no know, uh, intense steps to conduct this uh, you no know, fdp uh, once again i have you know, my sincere thanks and have a great time madam thank you once again thank you sir thank you so much thank you the feedback link is uh, posted in uh, chat window please fill up the uh, feedback link and type your name uh, properly the last day feedback uh, link is considered for uh, giving the certification uh, so we need uh, four working days time for uh, giving the certificate to you uh, because we have to check out all the session attendance then uh, we will give the certificate to you uh, sorry for the inconvenience so definitely you can able to receive the fourth working day uh, 
ma'am i suppose we have a one day means is any problem ma'am no ma'am at least you you have to attend 70% okay now one day we got i got invigilation i but i listened actually but uh, I, that invigilation time I, i didn't able to put the feedback actually but again you send but i didn't send ma'am okay ma'am so uh, the, there is no okay. issues ma'am we will consider okay, uh, you. our youtube uh, listener also ma'am okay thank you ma'am thank you some of them have had not attended some some of them attended even though they are uh, opening again the youtube uh, uh then they are listening once again the session also so really i would like to thank everyone uh, participate this event uh, uh, because of you only this event uh, um, uh, have got a very success manner and thank you all professors um uh, definitely uh, so this type of event uh, regularly uh, conducted uh, in year once uh so this year also uh, we have uh, conducted this event uh, uh, for the teacher uh, fraternity thank you so much thank you you all